Today, today I build. It has been far too long since I built anything and that is what I'm going to do to start off this video. But I have something to show you guys. Just look at this. See this? There's this new mod that came out called Better RTX and it makes, as the name says, the RTX better in almost every way. It fixes so many things and it makes everything look amazing. Like, check this out. Well, right now it's nighttime, but it's kind of hard to see, but it looks pretty cool already. And as the sun is rising up, you can, it just looks, it just looks absolutely, uh, beautiful. It's all I can say. It just looks too good. So I'm going to be playing with this probably for the rest of this video, just because how good it looks. Like, let's look how good this looks. Another cool thing it does. Let's, I grab, let's uh, grab a block here. There is this depth of field effect they've put into it. So if I look at a block that's close up, you can see everything blurs out in the background and it makes it a pretty cool effect. <laughs> I'm not sure what this panda's doing, but he's been on his back for just... He's just been on, Oh, there he goes. He's been on his back for like the last two minutes. He hasn't moved. <laughs> what you doing? But enough of that. I'm, like I said, <laughs> I'm gonna get start building right away. And what I'm going to start with is I'm gonna improve the look of this field of crops. It's looked like this ever since I put it there, but I wanna spruce it up a little bit, even though I'll be living in a bridge forest. Once I get these materials gathered, I'm gonna dip down into this water. And when I come back up, and it's all done. Look at that. I, I would say this is an improvement. I've added these little borders around it, and I've added not, so it's not just wheat, it's gonna be beetroot, potatoes, carrots, and sugarcane. I think it looks pretty cool. I think this looks pretty cool. Next up, uh, you see these lamp posts here, the, these are like built a while ago, but I want to improve them just a little bit so they look just a little bit better. This is going to be a new design, it's not really much, it's just everything switched out for polished and the base of it is polished basalt now. I think it just looks a little, just a little bit better, so I'm going to replace all of the lantern posts around with this. Okay, so I pretty sure I got all these lanterns switched over to this new design but there's something I kind of found out when I was making that farm over there it's kind of a strange glitch but I'm gonna try <laughs> I'm gonna try and trick someone with it before it gets fixed for some reason if you like fall and like turn the farmland back into regular dirt you just like fall through it so uh, I found out you can actually like, you just go straight through like an entire block and it's kind of weird. So I wonder if I can trick someone to jump on one. Hmm. All right. There's a sign, not a suspicious hole. <laughs> kind of suspicious. You should like jump in there without just, you just jump. <laughs> You, like you just jump in it. No, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh, I got you, bro. <laughs> now what? Oh, <laughs> feather falling. No. <laughs> well, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna restock my shop. Because I'm all out of wood. I got. Well, look at, I got diamonds. And of course, someone paid an emerald. But I have this. I have this quartz box full of quartz. I'm gonna sell it. I don't know for how much. I'm gonna sell it. Alright, I got an idea brewing. What do you say, though? So we have all these crops here. But these crops need a. We need a building to go with it, so I'm gonna have like a little a farming hut. Probably this little area right here, I think, would be a good spot. 
Maybe put a cow pen with it. Alrighty. Farmer shack constructed. Oh, if we look at this. I think it I think it that fits in pretty good. First time building with mud. I liked it. It's pretty cool. Block to use. Inside. Got a smoker. We got someone put lava in the cauldron, which wasn't like that before. Just a nice little shack. Along with the cow pens. And if you see here, I've laid out some uh, marker blocks, which are conveniently melons. But I have these placed around some over here too. These are where the main paths are going to go connect to places. If you see it, it goes all the way up here, which is going to be the next thing I'm going to build. Which I'm going to build soon. But as of today, this recording, uh, 1.20 Trails and Tales update came out. So uh, I don't really know what I want to do from it first. The thing I want to do the most, though, is armor trims. I mean, th this thing I've been most excited since they announced it, so I don't really know where you find them. I know you find them in a couple spots. Maybe I should try and find a trail ruin, but I, I need at least one. Not only that, I need to figure out what color I want to make it. Like, do I want it, like, purple, or do I want it green or red? So I'm going to figure that out really quick. I suppose before I go on to finding an armor trim, I should make a brush just in case because archaeology is a thing now too. I can sweep the ground now. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just explore until I find something. So I know like desert wells, desert temples, the trail ruins, ocean monuments too. I don't know. I'm just going to go until I find one. Although, first, I, I do have to buy more rockets. I'm going to be out there for a while. Well, here goes nothing. You can find armor trims in pillager outposts, right? Pretty sure that was one of them. Go, Horn. Oh, it's, <laughs> I love this one. I suppose maybe on my adventures, maybe I'll find a cherry blossom biome. Armor trims were... I'm pretty sure there's things... Suspicious gravel you can find. In Oshin Mami, it's right? Oh yeah, there's one right here. Oh yeah! There's pottery shards, isn't there? I forgot about those. Cool. I got pretty lucky in my first one I ever did, I got a pottery shard. Powder? What is that? Oh, an axe? Another another pottery shard. Oh, same one. Yeah, I completely forgot about the pots, to be honest. There's actually quite a lot of stuff in this update that's kind of like hard to remember it all. I'm gonna have to dig slowly around to see if I can find more, can't I? Oh, there's gotta be more here somewhere. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, what is that? Wait, wait. Oh, I thought that was, I thought it was armor trim. It's just a piece of coal. It looked like the shape it was supposed to be. Is that a wooden hoe? Yo, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, ah. Uh, oh, it's another pottery shard. Is it a different one? Looks like it. Plenty. And that looks like an emerald. Well, I think I got this one, uh... I think I got it cleared out. I can't find any more, but no armor trims. But I got some, got some pottery shards. So, what? There's rainbows with this RTX pack. That's so cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh huh. Another. Another. There's another. Is there any suspicious? Oh, yes, there is. Huh? Oh, it's just another wooden hole. Of course. Another wooden hole. You gotta be kidding me. Piece of wheat. Oh, is that one right there? Ouch! Leave me alone. I'm trying the archaeology all over the place. Ooh, another pottery shard. No, oh, no, no, don't you hit me. What'd I get? 
snort. Oh, it's the sniffer. Look at it. You can see it. Uh, looks to be an emerald. I mean, there's so many of these ocean ruins. They're pretty easy to find. Like, there's got to be an armor trim you can get from these ones, right? I suppose I could explore this treasure map. Excuse me, turtle. Oh my goodness, it's a baby turtle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are the chances of me finding this very treasure chest right away if i ever had an enemy it would be buried treasure because oh my goodness i always have i struggle with finding these things on a daily basis uh, oh i actually found it uh, while they're breathing i'll take that and of course the heart of the sea i wonder if you can find anything on uh shipwrecks shipwreck and a ruined portal what goodies lie await in here <gasps> No way, I got... I, shipwrecks do have armor trims. Coast? I wonder how that link, that looks. Alright, alright. We got a, a armor trim, which is what I came for, but I, I do want to see if I can find another one. I don't even know how it, this one looks like. Well, I'm glad I, at least we got one. I don't even know how many different patterns there are, like... 13 or something like that? I'm not too sure. Oh, whoops, I just started a raid, um... Uh, see ya. You can deal with it. Oh, ruin- that is a really big ruined portal. Holy man. <gasps> no way! Ru ruined portal first. I, I gotta check the chest, you, you cannot. Okay, it's always bad, but that is a big portal. But yeah. Just saw this out of the- in the corner. Actually, oh, it's really small though. That's unfortunate. Oh, look at these petals. Oh, these look so cool. What are these called? Just pink petals. Wow. This looks amazing. Wow. It's just a small one too, and it looks amazing. I'm gonna go chop these down so I can get the saplings so I can take them back home. Alright, I got three saplings. And I'm just gonna leave the rest here. Man, these petals are so cool. We need more particles like this in the game. Oh, here's a bigger one. Oh my, this looks so cool. I can't stop saying just how cool, how cool these things look. Makes me want to move across the overworld just to live by one, but it's kind of a long ways away. Wow, look at this cliff face. This is huge. If only this were closer to spawn. This would be a, such a cool place. Oh, is that another shipwreck I see? It is. Uh, uh, two more coasts. Yo, is that an ocean monument? Guardian. I don't think you can find an armor trim in here, right? There's no chests. I don't think this is just the sus gravel spawns here either. I'm just gonna skip over it. Uh, there we go. More coast. Oh please, oh please, oh please, just reveal yourself. Oh, buried treasure of the sea. Oh, it's right there. Oh my goodness. The things I do just for a heart of a sea. I was here for so long that a wandering trader showed up and he has pumpkin seeds. Uh, gotta be some suspicious looking block somewhere, aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> a sniff, no way. I got an egg. Got an egg of one of those ancient mobs. No way. No way. I can't. I got a sniffer egg. Uh, it's just another piece of coal. Uh, wooden hoe. Piece of wheat. That is also really good. Very small patches, but I somehow got an egg. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. Oh, looks like someone was here with Frostwalker boots. I think I'm gonna head back home though. I've done enough exploration. <laughs> oh, am I excited to hatch this? So silly little me forgot to press the record button, but 
I did make the armor trims. And it looks like this. I inlaid it with the amethyst. And it's a pretty good one for my first trim. But um, there's definitely cooler ones out there. And with those four pottery shards I got, got the sniffer, got the two swords on the side, and the last one was a very treasure chest. So it's a nice little memento for the exploration we took. I do really like how this looks. I might try it with red later. It looks pretty sick. Alright, so next I think I'm going to incorporate these, uh, these cherry blossom trees. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to sell them in my wood box at my shop. So I'm going to do that and probably figure out a price for uh, armor trims. Like, it's kind of confusing because it takes seven diamonds to make each one, but how many more diamonds do you sell it for? So I'm not really too sure about that. But anyways, I'm going to go mine a bunch of these cherry blossom trees down there. I think I got enough enough logs. I mean, if you look at this, I got uh, 10 stacks, almost 11. I got quite a few leaves too. It's a very enjoyable tree to mine because it just looks so pretty <laughs> with all those falling leaves. Now, onto the shop. So, I have decided on a price for the armor trims. I'm just gonna sell it as double the amount it takes to make it so I'll get a little bit of diamonds from it at least so I'm gonna first put the cherry saplings um, in there 16 for a diamond that should be enough put all the logs I'm gonna save a stack for myself a lot of cherry logs next we gotta duplicate these uh, smithing templates and I don't have very many diamonds so I gotta break these down always such a fun thing to do uh, back up to a stack of diamonds pretend I'm gonna use them all on uh, duplicating uh, I can make that's all I can make nah oh here we go got I got it uh, that's going through a lot of diamonds but I'm gonna just do eight start out with eight of this coast one see if they sell at all so today we've done some building we've done some exploration and we've done some shopkeeping next i say it's time to do some achievement hunting the new update added like four of them i've gotten one which is the pot one for easy ones i'm gonna do the wax on wax off because that is really easy and then plethora of cats. Yeah, definitely need more cats. So we grab one of each of these. All right, so we have to wax all these. And then click once on each one and I should get it. And after waiting a little bit, looks like we got it. All right, next for plethora of cats, we ever so conveniently have an iron farm that produces a lot of cats. <laughs> A lot of stray cats come out of that, and they wander about for a while, and then they leave. Well, I think I have fish in here somewhere. I think I got, yeah, I got fish right here. I just gotta, whoa, just, just gotta wait for a little bit. There's cats. There's cats coming out of the cat hatch. There's a cat right by the cat hatch. <laughs> You, you little cat. Oh, uh, there does look at there comes another cat out of the cat hatch. They just come out of here so often. Okay, one of you all has to uh, gotta get tempted by this fish here. Okay, oh my goodness, that is a mini baby cat. 
Uh, what a cute little fellow. Hey! Hey, there we go. Got three. Oh, there we go. That's four cats. Let's take them all and put them in the meow tent. <laughs> fish do you need? That cat ate like seven fish. There we go, we got it. Befriend 20 stray cats. And we have a lot of cats here now. I have a lot of names to give out. But I think next, we'll do its birthday song. I know where Ally is, I've had it wrote down. And now I just have to go get it and travel a long ways with it. To get back here. <laughs> yeah, there they are. There's actually more than one. There's actually four in there. Wow. Why, well, hello there. I imagine I just give them a piece of something and they'll follow me around, right? Yep, they're following me now. I suppose I can't fly because they won't be able to keep up, will they? Yeah, they don't. They can't keep up, so I'm gonna have to walk all the way back home. <laughs> Oh well. What are these nasty things doing over here? They're so bouncy when they fly. <laughs> also, what in the world is going on? Oh. Weird. So I can just be like, walking along, mining very amus, amus, amusly, aimlessly, words are hard. <laughs> hey, look, look at that! They just follow and... Wow. Did they even miss anything? They didn't. Wow, that's actually... They're very thorough. Alright, so we got the LA's all the way back and we're ready to do this birthday song achievement. So we have to get a, give it a cake and then we have to have it drop at the note block. Which I honestly almost forgot was a feature because uh... When you activate a note block, make a sound. I forgot that allies will drop an item by there, so... It's actually a really cool item collection thing you can do if you really wanted. And there we go, we got it, got it unlocked. Alright, the next achievement I'll probably do is Sail the Seven Seas. But, to be honest, who wants to watch me fly over seven different ocean biomes? So I'm just gonna not show this one. But it'll probably be done sometime in the future. <laughs> so in order to get another ally, you just play a music disc. And you give it an amethyst, right? Yeah, just like that. It just duplicates. Neat. Alright, so it's not too hard to get allies. But I think we should give him a name. <laughs> what should we name him? Mr. Bart and Must. Bartimus. He'll be our own personal ally when we need him. And he's stuck. And speaking of naming things, I need help with naming these cats. There's quite a few of them. So, I need you to help give me some names. So, write down in the comments what kind of names I should name these fellows. <laughs> oh no, the cats are getting wet! This is not good. We do not need wet cats. Alright, I need to get them all in the tent. Get over here. Oh my goodness, there is so many kitties. Oh my goodness, they're pushing out each other out of the tent. This ain't good. There we go. All the cats are now safe inside of the tent, not getting wet anymore. Yeah, bro, they added bee hopping. You want to see something really fancy? Okay. You ready for this? What the? Okay. I got it. It takes some timing. <laughs> Boing! <laughs> Boing! Bro, how? Boing. Yeah, they kind of, they kind of broke like jumping in a light ring so you can just do this bro i have no clue <laughs> what how are you doing that i don't know bro 
You don't it is one don't. strange glitch, and I do not know why. <laughs> you do take fall damage when you're doing it, though. Bro, I can't do it anymore. Hey, look at this. Boing, boing, boing. Bro, so you hold... So right before hold. you hit the ground, hold the jump button. Like, it's... It's a weird timing thing, but once you get it down, it's really easy. It's a it's a goofy thing. <laughs> like, look at this, Michael. Boing, boing. Well, <laughs> I'm just, so I'm just you can get really fast too. Bro, you're like zooming. It's most likely gonna get fixed, so you gotta enjoy it while it's here. Yo, bro, you wanna see something neat? What? Well, Ouch. Oh, oh, you need this to upgrade your netherite now, don't you? <laughs> and like seven diamonds. Hopefully I don't lose my netherite anytime soon because that seems annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's all the trims I have right now. I don't, I don't have any of these two. I like a better helmet. This helmet's kind of meh. Bro, I'm... To be honest. <laughs> not, I mean, I probably could customize my armor right now, but I really want the, like the rarest one. You going straight for the silence one right away? Mm-hmm. I have like right oh, like, oh yeah. Hey, ch check out Mr. Bartimus. He's kinda stuck. <laughs> Yo, Bartimus. <laughs> How's that cake, bro? I don't know. He was following me around and he got stuck instantly in there. It was kinda funny. That is kinda funny actually. Alright. I'm gonna duplicate this one. Bro, now I even less diamonds. I used so many before i honestly probably used too many yo bro you want to go find the silence armor trim right now right now um well you see we're almost out of video time, so i don't think we can but it sounds like something we can do on a live stream there we go we got a slightly different looking helmet now wow you're gonna have to show me I'm almost done with this. I don't dive. even remember what the last dive one looked like. Of <laughs> what does this chest plate look like? I think this chest plate looks better than the other one I had. It's got the four dots on it instead of the... I don't even know what shape it was before. Check out my new fashion. You probably won't even remember what the last one looked like. Yo, bro. You have a whole entire target on your chest. Boing, boing, boing. And as the sun is setting, we've come upon a time where this video must end. It was pretty fun. We got to do some achievements, did some building, and did some exploration of the new update. It's pretty great. And hopefully it doesn't take me two months to make the next episode. Well, see you guys later. Cheers.